car A has a velocity of 35 miles per hour and car B has a velocity of negative 40 miles per hour. Which car has the greater speed? Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson and today we're going to talk about integers and absolute value. Alright, let's talk about those cars. But before we do, we need to determine what's the difference between velocity and speed. Uh, speed, you should know, well, it's how fast something's going, but velocity you might not know. And velocity is very similar to speed. It says how fast something's going, but it also tells you the direction it's going. Which is why, uh, in the example, one car was going a negative velocity. So let's talk about that. Car A had a velocity of 35 miles per hour. Car B had a velocity of negative 40 miles per hour. Okay. This one's positive, the velocity here is positive and the velocity here is negative. And basically what you can think of is, well this car is going forward, uh, which is why it's positive. This one's negative, it's the opposite, which means it would be going backwards or in reverse. Um, so that's the velocities. Now, let's figure out what the speed is, because that was the question, which had the greater speed? Well the speed here is simple, it's still 35 miles per hour. It's, that's how fast it's going. How about the speed for car B? Remember with speed, we don't care the direction, just how fast. It's going in reverse. That's fine. It's going 40 miles per hour. That's how fast it's going. So, which car was faster or had the greater speed? Car B. Alright, so today's lesson is about absolute value and integers. Well first let's talk about well, what are integers again? Uh, integers you can think of are just positive and negative whole numbers. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, those are integers and so on. But also the negative of those, right? Uh, we've got 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Those are also integers. So it's pretty simple. When you think integers, just think positive and negative whole numbers. They don't include fractions. They don't include decimals. Only whole numbers that are either positive or negative. Next, let's talk about what absolute value is. Absolute value is simply the distance A number is from zero on a number line. Okay. It's just how far away is that number from zero? Okay, that's all the absolute value is. And when you think about a distance, distance is always going to be positive. Okay, so when you take the absolute value of a number, you're never going to get a negative value because you can't have a negative distance. If someone asks you, oh, how far did you run today? And you, you're not going to say negative five miles. That doesn't make sense. Distance is always positive. And same thing when we take absolute values of numbers. You always get a positive number. Let's try some examples. All right, here's example one. Find the absolute value of two. And if you remember absolute value, we're talking how far away is that number from zero on a number line. So let's draw a number line. So I'll just start here's maybe negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay. So 2 on the number line is going to be right here. Well, to figure out the absolute value of 2, we just need to figure out how far away is that from 0. Well, it's pretty simple. Here's 0. There's 2. What is that distance? It's 2. So the absolute value of 2 is 2. So 
when you write absolute value of a number, you write it like this with these two vertical lines. And you read it, the absolute value of 2 is 2. That's the distance. Okay, notice it's positive, right? How far away? Let's try another example. All right, here's another example. Find the absolute value of negative 3. If you want to try this on your own first, go ahead and pause the video. Remember, absolute value, how far away is negative 3 from 0 on a number line? So let's start with another number line. Uh, negative 3, I'll make that right there. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Well, here's negative 3 right there. How far away is it from 0? From here to 0, what is that distance? Well, pretty simple. That distance is 3. So, the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Okay. Again, notice it's positive. Distance is always going to be positive. So when you take the absolute value of a number, you're going to get something positive. Okay. Here's something to try on your own. All right, here's the last example. Compare 1 and the absolute value of negative 4. Again, if you want to try this on your own, go ahead and pause. Um, so I don't think we need to draw um, a number line again, but if you want to, you can. Well, we know 1 is 1. That's fine. We just need to know, well, what is the absolute value of negative 4? And hopefully you remember, again, how far away is that from 0? Well, negative 4 is only 4 away from 0, so the absolute value of 4 I'm sorry, the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Okay. So hopefully you're starting to realize anytime you take the absolute value of a number, you're going to get a positive number, right? So if you have a negative number here, it would become positive. If you had a positive number here, the absolute value of a positive number stays positive. Okay. Um, so then all we got to do is compare 1 and 4. Well, 1 is less than 4. Therefore, 1 is less than the absolute value of negative 4. Okay. That's the last example. Here's some to try on your own. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.